Running is about pain. It's about pushing yourself harder than you thought possible. It's about mental toughness and finding the strength within you to run faster and to run farther, even when it seems like you can't go on. For the varsity cross-country team at DSA, this starts at sunrise every morning at the crack of dawn. But why do they really do it? What drives this hunger? It goes beyond just running, beyond just representing DSA. Because when it comes down to it, cross-country is bigger than just one person. When it comes down to it, it's about the guy next to you. It's about your pack. It's about finishing a race knowing you've done everything you could have for the runner beside you. For the team. The boys varsity squad, under the direction of the inspirational Coach Huggins, who is more of a mentor and role model for the runners above all else, proved itself a force to be reckoned with this season. Led by Captain Ben Kearsley and senior runners Ethan Barber and Sam Bloodworth, the boys hoped to accomplish everything they had set out to do in their final year on the team, giving this one last go around their all. In past years, it had always been the same thing. The boys would have won if it wasn't for North Carolina School of Science and Math. But not this year. Ben and Ethan lived and breathed cross-country, and they were not going to let their rival school down the road get in the way of their end goal. Sam, a newcomer, but a powerhouse just the same, made a great addition of the squad. And the three boys worked hard to steer the team through a triumphant season, racking up good times at all the regular season meets. However, even after a strong season ending in a great conference win against North Carolina School of Science and Math, Ben and the boys still had their sights set on loftier goals. They had their sights set on the final leg of the journey, regionals and states. It was a sunny, brisk morning in Charlotte, North Carolina, when the runners arrived at regionals. Sam needed a brief moment alone to gather himself before making his way over to the starting line to join Ethan and the rest of the boys, who were warming up. With the constant support of the equally fast girls squad, who were scheduled to run after the boys' morning race, and their head coach, McCray, Ethan, Sam, and the rest of the boys were ready to face off against the competition. Watching from the sidelines, Huggins, McCray, and members of the girls' team held their breath as they waited to see the final stretch of the boys' race. Anticipation turned to excitement as they realized Ethan and Barber was strides ahead of the other runners. When you're first, you can't slow down, said Ethan. The adrenaline keeps you going. You can't look back, but all the while you have to listen behind you for any sound of other runners at your heels. Ethan didn't look back. In finishing first, the time of 16.37, he was heavily congratulated at the finish line, a smile on his face. Ben was not far behind, despite running a high fever with Sam crossing the finish line shortly after. But despite Ethan's win and strong performances from the rest of the varsity squad, it was still unclear who the winner was. DSA and their rival North Carolina School of Science and Math appeared to be neck and neck. Everyone at the award ceremony cried around in high anticipation of the moment when the winner would be announced. But in that split second, when North Carolina School of Science and Math's name was called before DSA's to award them second place, Ethan Barber jumped up, clutching Sam's shoulder, knowing the title was theirs. The rest of the boys followed and shot up in a moment of pure joy and relief, knowing that all their hard work had paid off. They'd accomplished what they'd set out to do. The boys' team had won regionals for the first time ever in DSA history, making them the fastest group of runners boys cross country had ever seen. At States, though, they did not see the same success that they had hoped for. On a cold rainy day in Kernsville, North Carolina, Ethan and Ben, rather than stand out, found themselves lost in the crowd. The race was hard, and the pack got split up, but despite the pain, and despite the outcome, the boys and the rest of DSA cross country did not lose heart, because no matter how bad it gets, or how much it hurts, at the end of the day, when the sun goes down, it's about your teammates, it's about your pack, it's about being surrounded by your friends, and when it came down to it, it was bigger than just Ben, Ethan, and Sam, it was about the team as a whole. And rain or shine, win or lose, DSA cross country was and is stronger together.